Hello team. For over 100 years, our naval aviation community has set the standard for going out doing bold and daring things. Uh, they deploy far forward around the globe. They operate extremely complicated, high performance jets, employing sophisticated weapon systems against the enemy in the defense of our nation. There has been nothing that we have asked of our naval aviators that they have not delivered on. And so beyond the inherently risky environment in which our naval aviators operate, we've seen a rise of physiological episodes, particularly in the F-18 and the T-45 communities. Just to kind of give you some perspective on this, in the last 12 months, these episodes are happening at about five times their historic rate. So last month I asked Admiral Scott Swift, the commander of the Pacific Fleet and our senior naval aviator, to dive into this problem to make sure that we are doing everything that is possible to get after this problem. And we are taking a comprehensive approach. We have the Navy and flight medicine communities involved to make sure that we are minimizing the physical danger, uh, physical uh, impact to our pilots. We have the technical community tearing down aircraft, tearing into the systems to find this very elusive problem. So I wish I could stand before you right now and tell you that we have solved this problem, but that's just simply not true. It is an elusive problem. The symptoms come and go, and so we haven't found that smoking gun just yet. We're also uh, giving our aviators in-cockpit instrumentation. We're trying to outfit and, and equip our aviators with as much uh, gear as we can get to allow them to understand in real time what's happening and, and take uh, measures. We've increased training across the board, We're refreshing that training so that if a pilot or a, or a crew member feels uh, the onset of these physiological episodes, they can recognize it and take appropriate action to mitigate it. And probably the most important element of the solution is that we brought all of you, all of the naval aviators, into the picture as well. So we have our instructor pilots are all piling in and contributing to it. Our aviators that are deployed in wings and, and working up for deployment, uh, they're all part of the solution. Uh, in short, we're listening to every idea that we can get. This issue has my full attention. It is the number one concern in naval aviation. The air boss is listening. Nav Air is listening. The entire naval aviation enterprise is ready to hear what you have to say. I am listening. Let's get to it.